all right guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today i am going to dive into the InShot app so I did a video on all the apps that I use for Instagram and y'all really really love that video but I still get a lot of questions on Instagram about like what app do you use what app do you use and it's usually when I'm using the InShot app so I decided to do a dedicated video to the InShot app because that is something that y'all ask me about a lot and that's also something that y'all commented on the video asking for so here we go So um, let's dive into the InShot app. So the InShot, InShot app is an app that I use for my videos um, that I put on my Insta story. So if you ever see me putting like a funny filter on Insta story or like when I do my dance videos around the house, if there's like little animations that pop up, that is from the InShot app. So the InShot, apps, InShot app has a lot that goes on in inside of it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to screen record the app and uh so y'all can see what goes on in here okay so in the InShot app you can it already presents you with three things that you can do so you can do video a photo or a collage most of the time I'm gravitating to the video so I'm gonna dive into that first and that's probably what's gonna take the longest to explain so what I'm gonna do is open up a video that's already here so one thing I do like actually let me go back out one thing I do like about this app is that it allows you to draft your videos so as you can see I have 58 drafts ignore that they're not anything special it's just stuff that I forgot to delete once I was finished with it but what I like about the drafts is that you can organize your stories or IGTV or whatever you're editing um, you can draft it while you're still editing it until you're completely ready to publish it or whatever and it also allows you to go back and make corrections if you're working with a brand or something like that um, before this was not an option you had to edit one video at a time so it was kind of frustrating so i'm glad they updated that pretty recently within the last month so i love that so let's just dive right on in so i'm going to open up this video that's already there so i'm going to take off all the filters so y'all can see what it looked like before okay this is the video that i have of me showing off my jeans I get a lot of questions about my jeans on Instagram so I just decided to make a little clip about it so this is what we have so first is the trim this is basically how you cut the video if you don't want it to be that long if you want to cut a part out um, you can trim it by pulling the ends and making it shorter you can cut it by just taking out a middle, like if there's a middle of the video that you want to take out, but you want the beginning and the end, you could cut it that way. Or you could split it where you take the, you find the area that you want to split and split it in half, something like that. But we're not going to do either. Um, so that's the first thing, canvas. Now this is pretty important. The canvas basically helps you set the dimensions of the video for the platform that you're going to use it on so they already have preset dimensions for instagram they have the square they have the portrait for instagram which is the four by five they have youtube dimension they have a spotify i believe that's no that's not spotify that's um I forgot that app but that dimension then they have dimension for iphone the regular iphone they have the 10 iphone um so they have all the dimensions you're looking for but because i always post on insta story i always choose the five by five iphone and then i press the little square to make sure the video fits right in the middle and so if you have multiple clips you can just apply this to all the clips instead of going through and editing each clip. So by applying all of it, you hit the double check button here on the far left, not just the check button on the right. So you're going to apply all. And so then we go to the filters. 
my favorite filter they actually have a lot more filters than it shows in my app because i hit them all i hit the ones that i don't use because if i don't use them there's no reason for them to be there so if you go to more or actually no let's go back if you go to the little wheel, the gear button, um, it'll show you all the app, all the filters that they have. And as you can see, I have hid a lot of them. Okay, so my favorite filter is the Cinema One. Sometimes I turn it down. You can turn down the strength of the filter. I turn it down because it'll make me orange sometimes and I don't want to look orange, but I do still like the filter. So I'm just going to do that. So that's the first step. Um... Not the first step. So that's part one of the filter. The second is adding the effects. Now this is where you can add the glitchiness of the photo or grain or the TV effect. So they have different ones. They have ghost and as you can see it looks like this. They have TV, it looks like this. They have conv convex, it looks like this. They have noise jpeg they have a lot but these are the ones that i like so we're going to add the glitch to this one because i like to use that one so i'm just going to apply all and then what i'm going to do is turn the volume off on the clip so this is what we have so far it has a filter it has glitch and it's pretty much ready to go for me um, I would just put music on it through Instagram, but I just want to go ahead and go show you everything that you can do inside the app. So next you have music. You can add your own music. So I'll go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm going to do that at the end because I don't want the music to keep playing while I'm trying to talk through the tutorial. So let's come back to the music and let's check out the stickers. So the stickers are actually those effects that I have um, whenever I'm doing like my dance videos and you see those animations like jumping up and down. That is the um, sticker. So let's just put like an arrow since I'm talking about my jeans. And then we're going to make it smaller. And you're just going to put that one there. And let's turn it up. Yep, like that and then with, with the sticker okay so we're gonna make sure the sticker goes all the way to the end of the video so click video end and then you're gonna also click edit because then we want it to like bounce so you can add like effects to it so yeah let's do that one that's kind of cute so I'm actually gonna copy this same sticker and just move it over here and turn it up. Why it won't turn? Okay, there we go. Okay. So now we have two stickers and let's play it. See, now you have the arrows. Cute, cute. Yeah. All right. So now that you have stickers, you can add text. Um, I normally like to add the text on Instagram. Sometimes I change my mind. I'm like, should I add it on here? Should I add it on Instagram? It just depends on how I'm feeling. But you can add text on here. So I'm going to put, let's talk about jeans. And then we're going to center it. And you can change the background. Who's calling? Rude. You just messed up my screen recording. Hold on. I got to start recording again. Okay, so you're going to add the let's talk about jeans in the middle. You can change the text color. You can change the background to, let's change it to white. Boom. Let's move this up. And we can put this end of the clip. So, let's see what we got. So, we got text. We got animations. Boom. Let's talk about jeans the words are going to pop up. Actually, let's have the words pop up um, at the beginning. So we're going to just edit the text and have it go to the beginning of the video. So now we got words and we got little animations. Okay, so you can change the speed. You can also add a background. The speed, I'm not going to play around with in this video, but say you want to have a slow motion, you can just slow down the clips. Um, and then background, you can make the, the actual clip smaller so you can see the background like that. 
and it'll look like this. So if that's what you're into, you can do that, but I'm not going to do that for this particular video. So I'm just going to put it back the way that it was. Okay, and so you can reverse it, rotate it, flip it. Those things are kind of obvious to what it's saying. So the last thing I'm going to do is add music. So I'm just going to pick whatever song I have on here. Okay, so now we have music, and so this is what the clip will look like. See? So cute! And then you would just save this to your phone and then post it on Instastory. So I'm just gonna draft that. And then now let's do photos. So you can also edit your photos on this app if you like the filters and you like all of that stuff that they provide here. You can basically do everything in this app. So let's edit a photo in this app. So here is, a. Uh, let's see. I took a lot of selfies yesterday. Okay, let's do this picture. So I took this picture outside of a coffee shop yesterday so this is the photo so let's just throw a filter on there um oh i like that one and so you can also add the effects to pictures too it's not just a video thing it just um with the videos it moves but with pictures it's just like a still frame so i'm actually going to add the jpeg filter on this picture and this is the before, this is the after, before, after. Okay, and then I don't want to do that. That was not, that was an accident. Um, and then you can add stickers to your pictures, but I'm not going to add a sticker. You can add text. And then you can crop it to fit whatever you're using it for. So if it's Insta Story, Instagram posts on your feed, Square, Wide, YouTube, Insta story, um, Facebook, whatever the case, you can use it for whatever you want. But I'm just going to keep it for Instagram. So that's my photo, and I think it's pretty cute. So I'm just going to save that. And then, last but not least, oh, that was another thing. You can't draft the pictures you can only draft the videos so just keep that in mind when you're editing a picture you have to finish the the photo edit um or you or you just have to wait until you're done to move on to another photo but the videos you can draft on your on the InShot app you just can't draft the photos just want to point that out and then last but not least they have collage so this is a collage so i'm just gonna pick the photo i just edited um and you could do all kinds of stuff actually i'm gonna edit another photo from that same like little area let's just do this oh and let's say you want to edit multiple pictures so let's pick another picture that's not even a cute picture let's edit this picture okay so I'm going to put that same filter on there. Cute. And you can apply all. And then I'm going to also put the same effect. JPEG. Apply all. So now we have two pictures. So we're just going to save all the pictures. So you can edit multiple pictures at a time. But you just can't draft them. If that makes sense. So you can edit multiple pictures at a time. I take that back. You just can't draft it and like open up another photo in another. You just have to edit them multiple pages at a time. So you can't edit multiple pictures at a time. I stand corrected. So I'm going to take these two pictures and do a collage. So let's actually these three pictures. Let's do that. So they actually have different. So you can do it like this. You can do it like this. You can do it like this. You can do it this way, and I can move this one. I think I can move that one, yeah. Let's see what else they got. They got this, this. So they have different, like, collages that you could do. So I'm just going to do this one. And then I don't want that big of a border. Okay, and I want this one in the middle. No border at all, actually. 
and you can even apply the filters to the whole thing but since we already did filters that will be necessary so yeah you can even do collages in the InShot app so that's pretty much the full rundown on the InShot app I love the InShot app. It's probably my number one go-to Insta story, Instagram app. Um, so if you're looking for an app that kind of does a little bit of everything, this is the app. I actually pay for the Pro, which is, let's see. I think the Pro is uh, like $15. I don't know, but it basically takes the watermark off and it gives you access to all the filters. Um, so I think it's a yearly fee. It's not like a monthly thing, but I could go check. Let me see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is like an app that I get asked about a lot. This is an app that I use a lot. So I feel like whenever I say I use the InShot app, people think like, oh this app only has like one type of look but you can turn your videos into so many different things i actually edit all of my igtv videos on this app i don't edit my igtv videos on my computer just because it's a lot easier um and i'm more inclined to actually complete the video when i do it on my phone versus when i like have to send all the clips to my computer or send them all to my phone or whatever. So I actually have filmed most of my videos that's on IGTV on my phone and edited them on my phone. Especially the Mark Minis that I have been doing here recently. All of those have been filmed on my phone and edited on my phone. So don't feel like you have to have like this camera or like any type of camera as long as you have your phone you should be able to start somewhere now there are a few videos on my IGTV that were filmed on my camera of course um and I actually do want to start filming on my camera more for IGTV but it's just been a lot easier for me because right now I am practicing consistency so if I overthink if I overthink any step it's not going to get done. So I'm just trying to force myself right now to just meet my deadlines and like meet my commitments that I made to myself. And so if filming the video on my phone is what I have to do to, to do that, then I'll do that. And so I'm in, I'm just in a season of just trying to practice being consistent. And so that's just what's helping me stay consistent. But of course, filming on my camera would make the videos pop and editing them on my computer will probably make it even more fancier but this app gets the job done for me and so if you're a beginner or if you're trying to create content and you don't have all the necessary equipment that you think you need which you don't um you can just start on your phone and start with that app and that's a go you don't have to have final cut pro you don't have to have iMovie you don't have to have a mac book to start um you just need your I have an iPhone so that's just me but even if you don't have an iPhone if you have an Android I feel like I think the InShot app is also on Android as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um it was you know everybody's asked about it so I'm gonna try to get this video up first but if you're new to my channel and you watched all the way to the end make sure you subscribe down below because your girl been putting out videos on the regular <laughs> But yeah, make sure you subscribe, comment down below if this video was helpful to you or if you have any other, you know, requests or topics that you would like for me to cover on my channel. I feel like a lot of the videos I've been doing now that I'm back have been talking videos and I didn't want to do this much talking, but it seems like y'all like to hear me talk. So, um, but I'm going to try, but I also have another fun video that I'm I'm recording today that's more about my house like the de decor so stay tuned for that um but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time